my name is Jem and I make hair tutorial videos. Be sure to subscribe, I upload twice a week. Also, you can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Today, I am doing a really highly requested video and that is double buns. You guys, since I uploaded my space buns tutorial, have gone crazy for double buns. So I thought what I would do today is I would show you how to Dutch fishtail and turn them into double buns at the bottom. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Remember, if you do, to give it a big thumbs up and I will hand you over to a voiceover gem who will talk you through how to do this tutorial. So first of all, I am going to brush my hair so that it is completely free of knots and then I'm taking a sectioning comb and down the center of my face, running up a line from my nose, I'm going to put my hair into a center part line all the way down to the nape of my neck. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie one side up out of the way with a nylon covered strong elastic band. These I find don't damage my hair. Then I'm taking a little section of hair from the top of my head and I'm going to split that into two equal sections. Then I am going to take a little strand of hair from the left section. It is going to go under and into the right section. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side, so I'm taking a little section of hair from the right, that is going to go under, and that is going to join up with the left section. I'm going to do that again, so I'm taking another little section of hair from the left section, it is going to go under into the right, but I'm also going to scoop up some hair and join that in as it goes under into the right. So I'm taking a section from the right, that is going to go under, and then I'm going to pinch up a little section of hair, and that is going to go under with that strand. I'll show you again. So you take a little section of hair from the left section, that goes under, and then also with that little section of hair you scoop up some hair, and that goes under with that strand. And this forms the Dutch braiding effect. I'll show you again on the right side. So a little section goes under, and then I pinch a little bit of loose hair, and that goes under with that braid. And again, under. up some hair with it. Repeat these steps all the way down to the nape of your neck. I like to do a few extra strands and then I can get the elastic band in there nice and tight at the nape of my neck. Repeat the steps over on the other side and tie that off with another nylon elastic band, a nice strong one if your hair is thick like mine. Then you'll probably need to shake it off because it's a pretty hardcore style. Whew, I'm just going to have a little bit of a coffee break. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pancake the braids by tugging on them, working from the bottom upwards, pulling on those strands to make it look thicker, fuller and softer as well. Remember this isn't a gym hairstyle, this is more of an everyday soft, pretty, elegant style. Now what we're going to do is we're going to form the bun. So I'm twisting the ponytails towards my neck and then I'm looping it over and then I've made sort of like a bobble. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a clear elastic band over that bobble that I have made. And then I'm going to pin that little bobble in place just with one pin and then wrap the remaining hair around the bobble that we have formed and pin that in place with some hair pins. I find the wide set bobby pins to be a lot more easy with my hair. So if your hair is thick, look into the wide set pins because it does make life a lot easier than just the regular bobby pins. So I'm repeating that step over on the opposite side and just pinning it in place to form the nice soft little buns at the bottom. 
Then I'm pulling the remaining strands of hair around my face out just to frame it and make it look softer. <laughs> watching my tutorial today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. But before I go, if you have any requests as to what tutorials or what kind of videos you want to see next, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you fancy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Mwah!